home. <laughs> and if you need any ride, you ask me because I'm driving. I'm not taking a chance. What? I said, if you need to go anywhere, I'll take you anywhere you got to go, but I'm not taking I don't think I have somebody else. What? I don't think I have somebody else take you. All right. Just remember that. Um, you ain't taking me to work. I'll be there if I sit and wait on anybody. You ain't taking me to work. I'm waiting on boxes for anyone. No, I said you're not taking me to work because I refuse to sit there and wait on anybody. To do what? When I get ready to work, go to work, I'm taking myself. I don't need you to take you nowhere because I'm not sitting to wait for nobody. Okay, well, you're not using the Durango. It's hard. It's not at all. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. You bring me my bring me the key back. Bring you key back. Give me my money. What money? All right. Well, now you want to play that? Like I said. What money are you talking about? For my alternator. Give me one money, and then I go buy and put it paying for my car, and we won't have this issue. The alternator, yeah, whoever put the alternator and broke the wheel, the pulley wheel, so. They did it, but okay, whatever. Okay, well, just so you know, I'm recording this, so. That's how we're uh, going to do it from now on. So. Yeah. You're not using the, you're not using the Durango at all. Mm-hmm. Nope. Fine. All right. I'll show you. You go ahead, show me. Ain't going nowhere. I'll be down there. I'm on my Ain't going nowhere. I was Emma Mathis at 10.10 10 this morning. Who am I waiting to pull up? Who? Good. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I want to record. Just a tenant. Yeah. Make sure you get it right.
ask or whatever you want to call it. And for the last couple of years, that's pretty much what he's been doing. And all this like, extra drama he's doing, I don't have time for it. So, like, I'm trying to play a game with Like, I have to do this. I'm not going to keep playing this ball. I want to, you got to move out with it. So, like, it's like, we're not kicking nothing. Like, the house is nasty. Like, I just can't feel you know, like I'm tired of it. Oh, yeah, he's sitting here recording it now. Yeah. They're not on speakerphone. Uh-huh. Sure to tell him you saw your ass on back page. Uh-huh. I don't know. Oh, well, they just had somebody come out for a reservation program and whatever, and he had me fill out this lease and stuff so that they could do the project or whatever it may be. And now I feel like I should have never did it because now I feel like he's trying to play me and I ain't got time for that. Like, I would rather just, yeah, not even go through all of that because I refuse to get in trouble with anybody for their stupidity. Go for it. And how I met you on Backpage. Be sure to tell him that. Uh huh. No, um, he had me fill out a lease and whatever, get the lease signed it, and my rent was this much or whatever. So they have to the furnish it. But with, in all reality, I don't pay rent. I ain't never paid rent. Like, You're a tenant. You're going to pay rent. Yeah, anytime I'm going to pay rent. But, like, I, I got text messages. I got relatives. My parents. Like, I'm not trying to hear none of the stuff you're talking. My kids. My daughter is five. And I, she had no reason to lie. My best friend upstairs. My sister upstairs. And they don't pay rent either. They sure don't. But like he told me, I got text messages. They could be here as long as I'm here. So with that being said, I'm no, doesn't say it on the lease. No name on the lease. Don't say it on the lease. It's in my text messages. Better than no. Go ahead. I'm recording. Make sure you get it right. Selling your ass on Backpage. Be sure to tell them that. That has nothing to do with. Yes, it does. That's how I met you. Yeah, really. Mm hmm. Yeah, he said he met me on Backpage, but like I said, I got a whole, other, I got another kid with another guy and. We met at his uncle at his auntie house, and I got food for that too. So, with that being said, he stopped me because he like ass. So, like I said, I keep food for everything. I've never been a slow chick. I don't know what he takes me for. I don't know. Um, yeah, they're pets. Put my speakerphone. Three dogs, two huskies, and a beagle. And one of them, I think, dying. Like, she don't move, really. She go far, she goes in the corner. Hear that, creep? You're dying. Yeah. No, I mean, just nasty. Like, I'm, just, I'm looking at dog shit everywhere. Sit on the floor, dog fur. I'm talking about bed bugs the whole nine. Like, but I don't understand how you can live like this and then expect somebody to want to move in here. Just tell mama to put it on YouTube as we're speaking. Yeah, I took pictures of the upstairs and everything. I made sure I took pictures of all of that because I figured this was going to happen. And then another young lady, um, also, I, I gave her y'all number. Um, he took her money and decided that he wasn't going to just give her her money back. I mean, he sent it, whatever the case may be, um, here and girls or whatever. And he her baby, he had nowhere to go. Now he avoided her. He don't want to give her money back. So I told her to go to the state, tell them what you need to tell them. And that's the best way to get your money back. Tell your lawyer, like, he's trying to not avoid you giving the key back. And when she came over, he hurried up and left. Oh, yeah. She wouldn't be able to get her the key back. So I told her, I don't want to take it. I don't want to be a third party. So she was like, well, I'm going to call my lawyer and go to the police station and let them know, like, he avoided me. He don't want to give me my money back. And I got witnesses that he's not trying to give me my money back. Like I said, I ran his text messages between him and her. And again, You haven't been here for three. Tell the truth. Um, yeah, get the recording right.
Uh, you say he's not submittable in court. I don't know what happened. Something happened and he recorded it and put it on YouTube and I guess it went from there or whatever it may be. But like I told him, like, that's neither the hero in the case. I really don't care about the issue. That's, that's not even the issue. My thing is you're not going to keep playing with people and think because you so-called dyslexic or whatever the case may be, you're going to get over on people because he has. He does this often. I got proof that I'm a, I tell him I keep copies of everything. I don't care what he's talking about. Every leak that I ever filled out, every person that he tried to get over on, everything that he ever had me do since the day I met him, I got copies of. And I, like, I don't care anymore. Like, I'm tired of playing this game, so like, yeah. you guys can. Got copies of the rape diary and everything else, too. So be sure to tell him that. Uh-huh. Friday. Good. Thursday? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay, that'll be perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, most definitely somebody will be here. You're making a complaint, you gotta be here. My best friend, my sister. They're not on the lease. Uh huh. Yeah. Cause I work, so I'll be at work about five. At night. Yep. Yeah, I told somebody. Somebody will be here. Emma Mathis won't be here. She has to be here. She's the one making a complaint. All right. Thank you. What's your name again? Thank you. Have a good day. Let me show you. Go ahead. Bye bye now. That was Emma Mathis, drama. It's ten fifteen in the morning. Twenty sixteen.